everyone, it's Rainy here and today it's my turn to have a play with August Freebie Specimen Embellishment Set 1. Uh, this was available in the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group, um, but it's also now available in our shop. I'll pop the links to both places below. I highly recommend joining the group. Um, great bunch of people and they always have some awesome things they make that they show you uh, and, and they're just helpful. So I highly recommend that if you're into Facebook. Uh, if not, um, this is also now available in the shop. Alright, so first I'll show you a few things that I've made. So I quite like the the layered embellishment, so I've made quite a few of these. They're easy, they're fast, and they're fun. So I've got a lot of them. I had a crack at making this little pocket and tag. I made this little folio and then this uh, I was playing with today so the first idea I, I wanted to make a set of tags that you could layer and see through the window um, and I really wanted the the back side of them to also you know you could look through them both ways um, and while I was I was actually recording this on video and while it was recording my camera ran out of juice and I didn't realize until I'd gotten heaps further ahead anyway while my camera was recharging I ended up making this which was just a single-sided one which was much easy easy much easier um, on this on the same sort of principle but it's just stuck together so you don't have three separate tags you have one tag you're still looking down through it and then on the same sort of idea I made this more dimensional one um, using uh, 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 double-sided tape so I, I really enjoyed making this one anyway I had another idea whilst I was making all of these and I thought we could try it together so this is something I've not done yet and I'd like to give it a go so first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper, my background paper, into uh, four pieces. Well, you know, I want to have four pieces once I cut them apart. Uh, I need to just press those folds and I need a ruler and a blade. Just a bit on there, got to cut a little bit more off. last that alrighty so now I have four pieces the same size I still want to make a tag so I'm, I'm going to cut a corner off like so and then I'm going to flip this around and uh, recut the corners 
make sure they've lined up. So now I have four tag shapes that should all be the same size. So I'm going to use maybe three. Sort of like that, so they're all not the same colour next to each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is tear this tag across the bottom like this. Keep this bit, but I'm not using on this tag. So that's the first bit. I'm going to put a little clip on here for the moment. So it will stay there. And then on this one, I'm going to tear from this corner and sort of a diagonal down. Like that. Again, keep that bit. And then I use that tag. Okay, those are the pieces I want. Uh, I've already cut out the elements. I've got a, a few extras because I've cut it out a few times now to make all these other bits and pieces. And I think for this one I'm going to want to use the mushrooms. I'll grab all them out. I'll just um, grab out the elements I'm going to use and ink them off camera and then I'll be right back and we can start putting things together. Alright, I've inked some the mushrooms, some leaves and a label. I may grab a few more bits but um, we'll have to see how it goes first. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, poke these in where I think I'm going to want to place them just to get an idea of how I want this to go. Alright, that's the kind of layout I'm, I'm going for. So, I'm going to start gluing these pieces down decide whether I want to layer them up a bit which I kind of do I don't think I want to lay the, layer them up quite as high as this tape I have though what I need is some card alright here's some corrugated card I stole from a cat food box earlier so I'm going to stick it on card but I want to make sure it's not bigger I need to do that better don't tear just cut not bigger than what I've got it needs to be hidden behind so right. 
So before I glue it all together, I'm going to cut the pieces out and uh, see how it looks. We're going to just do it. Let's just do it. So I will get a piece, a fresh piece of paper and glue all over this. Da-da. Going to get ink. And we've got a dimensional layer tag. Okay, let's not waste the other bits. So now we've got top of a tags. Pieces like that. So this time, because these uh, were the other sides of the tears, they don't have the white edge, so I'm going to ink everything this time. So that's what we've got now. And I think this time, maybe flowers. can see at the moment is two eyes, a nose and a tongue poking at me. <laughs> oh dear me. Maybe a little more creative. Alright, I think that's how we're going to go with it. <laughs> I still see two eyes and eyes and it's not breaking out of me but I'm going to go with it because I think it's just how I'm going to see a face no matter what I do now
So for this one, what I might do, instead of um, making it raised, I might just sort of scuff up the edge, the torn edge, a bit on each layer and just glue it flat but leave this edge a bit raggedy so it will stand up and look interesting. At least that's the plan. I'm pushing it all down, but I'm not pushing that edge down. There we go. Quite like that, even though it's still poking its tongue out at me. So there we have it, a couple of different layered tags ideas. I quite like all of them. I quite like the big ones too. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. But if there's anything you've seen here that you'd like me to show you what I did, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Feel free to come and grab the freebie in the shop if you don't already have it or rock on over to the Playing With Paper and Glue Facebook group and join up. Bunch of great people there and you'll get lots of inspiration. Um, so again, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.